day and thanks for joining us on Lina TV News. My name is Hamida Abdullahi. The headlines, Niger State House of Assembly passes 2024 revised budget and supplementary budget into law. Army announces late coerced to read Labaja's burial arrangement. Newly sworn in Edo State Governor Okwebolo suspends revenue collection in Edo. Stay tuned for details. The 2024 revised budget at the Supplementary Appropriation Bill of Niger State has been considered and approved by the State House of Assembly at today's plenary of the House. Arajuna Umaragada completes the report. In a related development, the Niger State House of Assembly has considered and approved the state medium term expenditure framework MTEF for 2025 to 2027 in accordance with Section 13, Subsection 1 of the Niger State Fiscal Responsibility Law held at the plenary of the House. State of Assembly correspondent Arajna Umaragada reports that the chairman of the Standing Committee on Appropriation on Revisibiri Ismail Rafi constituency, while presenting the report, stated that the MTEF is a multi year framework for working policy, planning, and budgeting a medium term of three years period. He further stated that it is a planning framework setting out fiscal policy objectives, fiscal targets. Fiscal target. Step two. He further stated that it is a planning framework setting out fiscal policy objectives, fiscal target, revenue projection, and aggregate expenditure limits. It begins by projecting resources that will be available and allocating them according to priorities and policy direction of the government. The 2025 to 2027 document contains three segments. The Economic and Fiscal Update, EFU, which provides a background of key economic and fiscal trend that will affect public expenditure in the future. The Fiscal Strategy Paper, FSP, which sets out fiscal objectives and targets in the medium term and budget. The Budget Policy Statement, BPS, which provide indicative sector envelopes for three period. The total sum of 916,447,678,229 is for 2025, while 847,741,661,000 831 is for 2027 amounted to 2 trillion 906 9, step 2 amounting to 2 trillion 974 billion 947 million 120,081 after the presentation of the report the Speaker, Right Honorable Abdul Malik Muhammad Sarikindaji, commended the House Committee members on appropriation for a job well done and directed the clerk to and directed the clerk to transmit clean copies of the document to the executive for further action. In another development, the Niger State House of Assembly has called on the executive arm of Niger State government to, as a matter of urgency, construct a security camp at Wayam in Rafi local government area and at the same time appeal to the federal government to deploy security personnel to man the camp. This was squelled to a motion on matter of urgent public importance sponsored by Honorable Zabiru Ismaila, member representing Rafi constituency at today's plenary of the House. Presenting his motion on the floor of the House, Honorable Zabiru Ismaila informed his colleagues that on Tuesday, 5th November 2024, Wayam community in Rafi local government area was attacked by bandits and kidnappers. He added that this is not the first time this community is experiencing such an attack. He further explained that seven people were killed, four sustained injuries, while 21 people were abducted. All houses in the village were burnt down, leaving people homeless and hungry because their farm produce also perished in the fire. 
other villages were also not spared from this ordeal. He further explained that seven people were killed, four sustained injuries, while 21 people were abducted. All houses in the village were burnt down, leaving people homeless and hungry because their farm produce also perished in the fire. Mm. Other villages were also not spared from this ordeal. Honorable Zubiru lamented that two weeks ago, Kundu community experienced a similar but more horrific attack as 12 vigilantes were and severally sever Step 2. Horrific attack as 12 vigilantes were and several cattle rusted and he said unless a security camp is constructed at Wyam, residents of these communities will not have any place to call home. At the end of his presentation and, and subsequent deliberations, the House unanimously adopted the prayers of the motion as captured. Newly sworn in Edo State Governor Monday Okwebolo has ordered the immediate and indefinite suspension of the collection of all revenues in Edo, especially in motor parks and others until further notice. A statement by the Chief Press Secretary to Edo State Governor Honorable Fred Itwa said the governor also ordered the state commissioner of police to arrest anyone who flouts the order. The commissioner of police is hereby ordered to arrest anyone who flouts the order and collect any kind of revenue on behalf of the state government. The governor will soon address the issues and concerns raised. He will issue new directives soon. Until then, no one is authorized to collect revenues on behalf of the state government. The late Chief of Army Staff, Torid Lagwaja, will be buried on Thursday and Friday. His burial announcement is issued by the acting COAS Lieutenant General O.O. Oluyo Day on Wednesday on behalf of the Nigerian Army on Wednesday, says the service of songs for the late COAS who died on November 5th will be held at the Army headquarters Garrison Parade Ground, Mogadishu Cantonment in Abuja. The service of songs will be followed by a funeral service at the National Christian Center Abuja on Friday. Labaja passed at the age of 56. According to a statement released by President Bola Tinubu's spokesman, Bayo Onanugad, Labaja passed away in Lagos after a period of illness. Labaja became the second chief of army staff to die in office in the last three years since late General Ibrahim Atahiru, who died just months into his tenure in 2021. And that is about the size of our package on Lina TV News. Do well to follow us on our social media platforms at Lina TV 247 or visit our website at www.linatv.com.ng. Thank you.